Alright guys, so it's actually been a few days since I last played. Uh, I still have my hidden stash with uh, my RG and everything that we got in the last episode. Uh, but today uh, I'm gonna try to set up a little crafting station right here in this spot. Uh, this is located right next to the volcano as you can see. It's usually not a very popular area and this server is pretty uh popular at the moment uh, we have like 20 people uh which you know it's not that much it usually gets to 40 in the evening but yeah i'm gonna try to um set up this little crafting station here see if i can craft uh, as you can see i already have some stuff here but i need to basically farm some resources uh, i'm gonna try to tame another rg i got this uh shitty pteranodon that i tamed which is gonna help me to do that uh, and I'm gonna try to tame an Anki so I can farm some resources because I can't just go and claim the Carnal Cave, you know, like this. I'm gonna get raided instantly. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and try to uh, do a bunch of stuff beforehand so we can bring some turrets. Maybe I'll try to get to level 100 before we go so I can uh, put some heavy turrets right away. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started with this. So let me go ahead and craft a bunch of primitive tools and I start farming some, uh, I'm gonna start farming some stone and some wood, uh, some basic resources so we can uh, make an RG trap and I'll see if I can lure an RG with this PT and try to tame it right here. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Hey guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, I actually decided to go and uh, try to loot some drops. Uh, see if I can get any structures that I can demolish. Uh, this way I can speed up my this process. Now, if you didn't know, uh, if you actually go to settings, um, this setting right here, uh, global illumination quality, uh, usually you want to have this off because when you have it on, uh, the screen is all flickery and stuff. And, you know, it also gives you more FPS if you have it off. However, if you have this off, you will not see the drops uh, drops beam. So, you know, it's really hard to find them that way. So I'm just gonna put this on medium. Uh, and that way I should be able to now see, but I, as you can see, everything is really weird, flickery and stuff. Uh, but now I should be able to see the drops, as you can see, there's one right here. So yeah, I'm just naked on this PT. If I encounter someone, I don't care that much if I die. Honestly, it's just a low level PT, whatever. Uh, but yeah, if I can actually find some stuff to demolish, that's gonna help me out a lot. So let's see. Yeah, this wasn't pretty much anything, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go for the red and yellow drops as they're the ones that can actually give me some decent stuff. So let's see if there's any around. Well, there's a red drop on the right, uh, just falling down. I'm gonna go for that. Alright, let's see what this drop has for us. And I hope I don't run into turrets because I do know that there is a base somewhere around here. Come on, something good. Uh, I mean, a bunch of poly. Oh, I didn't check my upload. I'll check it at the yellow drop. So I don't need the saddle, uh, I'm gonna use these gloves just to put some armor on. I guess I'll keep the bullets as well. I'm actually a bit worried to loot this yellow drop because of how close it is to the volcano. I don't know if you remember in the first episode where we got uh, anti-meshed. I also heard some other people speaking about it that when they go near the volcano if they land they just get mesh deleted. So. I think this is not that close to the volcano, it's a bit off of the volcano, so let's see. Uh, just making sure there's no dinos that can kill me here. Okay, we should be good. Ah, uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, yeah, my stuff is gone as well from the upload. So at this point I pretty much uh, just went ahead and looted as many drops as I can. Uh, I didn't get anything too fancy to be honest with you. Sometimes you just don't get lucky. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not gonna show you all the drops that I went to because some of them were garbage. I'll just show you if we got anything good. 
Oh, okay. Oh, this was actually pretty decent. And of course I can't move. I'm just gonna get rid of that polymer. And I still can barely move. It's primitive long neck. Yeah, I don't need the sap at this point. We got a couple of grenades. We got this uh, new dinosaur blueprint. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, but I'm pretty happy for the 70 metal. Uh, I can now craft a smithy. And I can also craft a couple of uh, tools, which will be pretty useful. So yeah, this is a pretty decent one. Alright guys, we got back to base safely. Uh, now that I'm thinking of it, I don't know if I'm going to have enough height to make a smithy. Oh, I actually do. Okay, that's pretty good then. But I'm not going to have enough to make tools for sure. Alright, so here's what we're working with. Uh, it's a pretty compact base. Uh, honestly, it's an easy raid. I don't expect this to last long. But uh, I'm going to place a fabricator here and I hope to have enough space to store this pteranodon. May maybe an Anki and an RG. But before that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit a couple more of those drops, see if maybe we can get something else. And then we'll try to tame ourselves an RG. So let's do that. I hope I don't get picked by a tile out of nowhere. We're going for this drop. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad, but uh, hey, you never know what you get. And I did get picked by a fucking Tyler. Yeah, I'm dead here. Fuck, you know, I knew it. I knew this was gonna happen. Alright guys, so I decided that I'm actually gonna... Gonna try to get this RG out of this cryo pot, uh, be just because I have it and uh, yeah, everything. Seem to be pretty long process, so yeah, but I came back to my stash. I'm still gonna leave this PT that I have, which is uh, nothing crazy, but it's a bit higher level than what we had before. I'm gonna leave it here uh, as a backup, and I'm gonna try to move all of this stuff uh, back to the crafting station spot, which unfortunately is actually pretty far away. So uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how we're making that but i guess i'm just gonna run for it and i'll get back to you when i get there all right so we're actually pretty close to where we died from the tyla and i wonder if i can maybe try to get my pt back if it's still alive it is actually because i haven't seen it die this is a bit risky but let's let's try it out Okay, this is where I died. Not quite 100 meters. Yeah, man, I really don't like being in the swamp right now. Right, this is where I died. Okay, so the PT should be somewhere above me. Let's see if I can maybe whistle it like that. Oh, I can actually track it now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I actually managed to whistle it. Although it's... Come on. For some reason it's not coming for me. Oh yeah, it is. Piece. Can't even land. Are you serious? Wait, how much weight am I off? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, well, just come with me, I guess, and let's go that way towards the base. So after a very long and torturous way back home fighting raptors, then getting stuck in baryonyx and other raptors, then getting knocked out and dying a couple of times, I made it back. Alright guys, we actually finally got back and we got the PT back with us as well, with all the stuff. We need to get some crystal for the fabricator, 
and hopefully cryo fridge and everything so i'm just gonna try and go naked and get some crystal real quick from the mountain that's mm, this one here right next to us yeah all right so we got 100 crystal that should be enough for now um yeah i'm gonna get this Fabricator up and then I think I'm gonna have to farm a bit of metal to get the cryo fridge and the cryopod Well, I don't really need a cryopod. I only need a cryo fridge, but let's see All right, we have the fabricator and we have the generator, but now I need to actually go and craft the cryo fridge which I can only craft in a terminal I think Let's see what we need for that uh, we have the crystal, we have the electronics, we have the polymer, we don't have the metal. So yeah, I'm gonna try and farm some metal first and I'll be right back. Well, there's actually some guys here taming an RG, I think. That's their base. There's definitely an RG in that trap, it's just that I'm not rendering it right now, but if I go closer, you see, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to tame it. Okay, so, this is a potential raid target right here. These guys look pretty weak, to be honest. So I'm probably gonna try something on them. Alright, I think we now have everything for this square fridge, 115 metal, we got it, 12 crystal, 7 electronics and 30 polymer. Uh, we have the metal. Wait a moment. Um, we got the electronics, we got the polymer. And uh, how much crystal did we need again? Uh, was it... 12, 12 crystal. Okay. Yeah, we got everything. Uh, I don't think my PT is gonna be able to carry us. So, uh, I'm probably gonna have to go by foot. I mean, that's good enough. That's better than me walking, honestly. And I'll be able to fly faster on the way back. So, let's get to the closest drop. That one over there is. In a really bad area, I don't want to go because it's like a lot of wolves. They already tried to loot it and I almost got killed. Anyway, let's see. I think that one is going to be the best option. Alright, boys. This is it. Hopefully I don't die by something. Uh, how much time? Yeah, it is enough. Alright, let's do this. And let's craft it. That's fine, it's gonna survive a few seconds here. Alright, perfect. Alright, we got it. Alright, so I don't know where to place this. I kinda wanna place it on a structure, not on the ground. Because I don't know if I can... Used to be able to pick the structure and wherever, whatever was on top of it, uh, you also pick up. But I'm not sure if that still works. Uh, on the other hand, if uh, if I'm not gonna do that, I'd rather place this on the ground so people would have to use a lot of C4 to break it. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it here. I mean, if it gets found, it gets found. Whatever, I can't really do much. Right here. Okay, so now... If we turn this on, should be able to throw this bad boy out. Come on. Alright, let's see what we got. No nearby crafage ready. This is powered. Oh. Oh, okay, so I have to wait four minutes. Okay, then that's fine. I'll come back in five minutes. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, uh, I crafted myself a basic kit. And uh, now we should be able to throw out the RG. So, let's try it out. 
Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. There we go. It has a saddle. Yeah, so we finally get to ride on this RG that we got the last episode. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna put all of the points into weight because I do need to farm with this RG. Even though it looks like a lot of the points are already put into the other stats, but uh, yeah. So let's see what we do next. Alright, so we farmed a bit of metal, nothing too crazy, but it's way better than what I was able to do before. Oh, that's a red drop. I actually might take the PT there real quick, right after I drop off this metal. Okay, I'm actually taking the RG to that red drop. Uh, I just dropped off all the metal so it can cook. And on my way back, I'm gonna try to grab myself a Anki to tame. That's the plan. Yeah, never mind. Someone's already got the drop or it despawned, one of the two. So instead, let's go look for an Anki, see what we can find. Okay, first tanky, 115. Okay, that's pretty good for me, honestly. I'll take that. I hope I don't get fucking anti-mesh now, because I'm gonna be really pissed. Come on. Alright, we got it. Yeah, this is perfect. The first tanky that I look, 115. That's great. I don't need anything more than that at the moment. I kind of want to trap this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work with my RG trap. At first, I think I might drop it just here. I think it's stuck. If it's stuck there, that's perfect actually. There we go. Alright, please be stuck. Oh yeah, it's stuck. That's great, actually. <laughs> no. Oh, it's getting out. Go the other way. Go to sleep. Come on. Should be close. No, don't go outside. Oh, it went outside. I kind of want to take it back here. Oh, perfect. That's actually great. Alrighty then. I can actually make a turret. I think I'm gonna make one. Just so I can have one. I'm probably gonna place it too. I don't know where. Or just inside. Yeah, if someone blows that door, is it gonna blow the generator? Probably. Okay. Let me put the turret right here. I mean, I kind of feel more protected than before, even though this is nothing. Okay, there we go. I do have some bullets somewhere. Yeah, 13 bullets. Great. <laughs> so while my Anki is taming, I actually decided to come to the Redwoods real quick and show you the best way to farm wood on this map. Uh, 
well obviously the best way would be for you to use a mammoth but you can also get pretty decent amount with just a hatchet um, so you come to these trees in the redwoods these ones here uh, and you use a hatchet or if you have a mammoth you can use a mammoth but basically this will give you a lot of wood as you can see I already got over 600 let's see how much I get from this is just one tree guys and there's a pig pegomastix behind it which is gonna jump on me as soon as I break it all right so my RG actually got over encumbered so I guess I'm gonna have to throw this away and also some of this there's actually a guy here and he's wearing armor let me just kill this real quick hmm. I wonder if I get in am I gonna be able to get out so I have one grapple I could leave my RG on top here and try to get in. Come on. I should be able to make that jump. Okay. the guy I can access the guy uh ooh, one c4 metal structures hell yeah that was worth it <laughs> i'll take the carnal bp the arrows yeah man that's pretty good can i ride my rg yes i can yeah that was just perfect man <laughs> thank you buddy my right, boys the yankee is tamed I'm going to take the saddle and I'm gonna go farm metal right away with it. I wanna have a lot of metal being cooked so I don't have to worry. Okay, that's not good. That's an alpha raptor right there. Come on. Kill my Anki. I need to save my PT though. Oh, it's out of there. Okay. I should probably close that gap. What the hell is that? Is there a base there? Okay, I didn't see that before. Must be a base there. Right, so that's not a bad amount of metal farmed. Um, it's pretty good for now. I'm just gonna distribute it all into the forges and then I think I'll go check on our neighbors there that I saw. Let's see if uh, they're raided or not. Yeah, so they haven't been online for like what like an hour right and these guys are the alpha tribe so if they've been here hmm, can i see more inside i can't really but i can hear something working in there so oh their pig is going slaughtered I don't know this cave really well I don't know how deep it goes and if I'll be able to hide from these plan X you know guys F it let's go let's do this oh this pit is dead come on come on Ok, 
Okay. <laughs> so the pity died, but I'm inside. This generator is not working. Oh, they have a baby RG here. Oh, they definitely still have stuff here, guys. Yeah, they have heavy turrets. God damn. You know what? I'm gonna play sleeping bags and I hope they don't find them. Good thing I didn't take my entire kit. <laughs> so this is a pretty big cave actually. Yeah, their generator is right here. Yeah, that's a lot of turrets for me to run with the spring flag especially. There's no way I'm getting out without dying. Maybe if I go left, if I get really lucky, I could survive, but I guess let's find that out. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. At least I know what's inside now. 